Hello, today is a very special video. I'm using my voice, and to top that off, I will be teaching you a very simple code in Java, the programming language, and the fundamentals of the Java. To start Java off, you're going to need Java Development Kit, or short for JDK, which can be found off java.com. A good idea might be downloading an IDE. An IDE such as Eclipse, which I am using, is free from Eclipse.org, I believe. What Eclipse does is it has a built-in compiler, which is fairly simple, and it can organize your code, and um, it has mm, it's very universal for C, for C++, C Sharp, PHP, X, HTML, and Java. So I really recommend getting Eclipse. Now. To start off our code, I want to explain what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making a little, like, program saying hello world, as you can see right here. By making hello world, that, just that line of text, we're going to need to um, state a string, and we're going to need to import the I.O. So let's get started. As I will be typing code, I will also be explaining what it means, so do not worry. The first line of co code, it would be import space java dot io dot asterisk. Never forget to put the semicolon at the end of an import, a declaration, and, and some other print streams, etc. Never put semicolons at the end of an if statement. Okay, now I will explain what we are importing right now, or just what this code means in general. Um, as we can see by the first uh, word, import, we can assume that we're going to import something into our code. Um, we're going to import a folder or a file, a class file from the actual Java development kit and what the asterisk represents is that we're not just selecting one file, we are selecting all the files in the content IO. It is very helpful and it'll save you lots and lots of code if you use asterisk instead of just putting import java.io scanner, um, import java.io util, etc. So beyond that, we're going to hit enter twice. And hitting enter twice is not very important, but I like my code to be nice and tidy because it helps you be organized in the long run. It really will help you. So our next line of code is going to be public class hello world now it's very important that you spell what's after public class for my example hello world exactly what you named your java file in my case I named mine hello world um, java is a very case sensitive programming language so capital H hello capital W world is not the same as hello world lower case. Um, we are going to hit now enter and we are going to add a bracket where the tip is or the middle point is pointing towards the left. A bracket just signals that we are um, ending that code and we're code and we're moving on to the next section. If you hit enter, it will automatically space it for you, which is very helpful in Eclipse, and not all programs do that, which is why I recommend Eclipse. Now before we move on, I must um, inform the viewers of something quickly. Um, a regular line of code stating that you want to declare something, or er, state some things like hello world would be system dot out dot print 
ln, then it will be the parentheses, then quotation marks, then hello space world quotation marks parentheses semicolon. What we are about to do is we are going to shorten it down to just out dot print ln hyphen quotation marks and then we're going to put hello world quotation marks another parentheses and a semicolon so this is what the line of code should look like private static print stream out equals system dot out semicolon basically what this is stating like I said before we're making the out stand for both system dot out now if you would hit enter two times and type in this code public static void main string args um, basically what this is referring to I actually do not know what this line of code stands for all the way but I do know parts of it and I know it is, it is a string and the string name is args um, this line of code goes into 80% of all Java applications. Um, it's public and it's static, so it means it can't go anywhere, and it's already been declared. So, moving on, we're going to delete that bracket and add a bracket pointing to the left again. And now we're going to hit enter, and now we're going to type in out dot print l n parentheses quotation marks hello world then we're going to add the very important semicolon <clears throat> after that we're going to add another parentheses facing to the right and there should be two of them and we are done so let's hit the play button and it should ask you for hello world hey yes and it works so thank you for watching and I might make more Java tutorials depending on the feedback and and like yeah the feedback <laughs> well thanks for watching bye